Whether you are a returning player or brand new to the Destiny franchise, you are probably wondering which expansions are worth getting and what bundles will save you money in the long run. So today I'm going to talk to you about what each DLC has to offer, what I recommend purchasing based on your Destiny aspirations, and the most cost-effective way to get it all. Getting started with specific expansions, we first have the Forsaken pack for 20 US dollars, currently on sale for 8 dollars, granting you access to all of the exotic weapons shown on screen now, the Shattered Throne 3 player dungeon, and the Last Wish 6 player raid. After that is the Shadowkeep expansion for 25 US dollars, currently on sale for 10, granting you access to all of the exotic weapons shown on screen now, the Shadowkeep campaign, the Pit of Heresy 3 player dungeon, and the Garden of Salvation 6 player raid. Next up is the Beyond Light expansion for 30 US dollars, currently on sale for 15, granting you access to all of the exotic weapons shown on screen now, the Beyond Light campaign, the Deepstone Crypt 6 player raid, and the Stasis subclasses for Warlock, Hunter, and Titan. Now, we talked about how this video will save you money, and the first way we can save is with the Destiny 2 Legacy Collection Pack, which contains everything we have mentioned so far from the Forsaken, Shadowkeep, and Beyond Light expansions for 60 US dollars, currently on sale for $24 as of the making of this video. That is $15 of savings at base prices and $9 of savings with today's sale prices if you buy the Legacy Pack as opposed to all of the expansions individually. Moving on, we have the Witch Queen expansion, which is the expansion everyone is currently playing as of today. The standard edition of Witch Queen, going for 40 US dollars, currently on sale for 24, will grant you access to the exotics on screen now, the Witch Queen campaign, the Throne World Destination, the Vow of the Disciple 6 player raid, and weapon crafting. The deluxe edition of the Witch Queen, going for 80 US dollars, currently on sale for 54, will grant you access to everything in the standard edition, as well as access to seasons 16, 17, 18, and 19, the Duality 3 player dungeon, and another unreleased dungeon coming to Destiny in season 19. For context, we are currently in Season 18, with Season 19 arriving on December 6th, 2022. Now, although we have already passed Season 16 and 17, the content from those seasons will remain in the game until the release of the Lightfall expansion on February 28th, 2023. So even if you buy the Deluxe Edition today, you still have plenty of time to play all of the seasonal content that you have missed up to this point. The final expansion that is currently in the game is the 30th Anniversary Pack for 25 US dollars, currently on sale for 15, which grants access to the Grasp of Avarice three-player dungeon, the Galahorn exotic rocket launcher, and multiple cosmetic ornament armor sets. Now, as I'm sure you noticed, all of these expansions have a discount currently applied to them, as these expansions go on sale all the time anytime a new expansion is announced. The best way to make sure you are getting the best price when looking to buy a particular expansion is by going to Bungie.net, hovering over Destiny 2, and selecting the expansion you are interested in. Next, select the Buy Now button and check the price on the platform specific to you and the price on the Bungie store itself. So for example, if you are an Xbox player, you would want to check the price on both the Microsoft store and the Bungie store. Depending on what sales are happening at the time, different purchase sites will provide you larger savings. And if you like saving money, please do me a favor and click those like and subscribe buttons down below. I do my best to make a video like this annually to help you get the best deal on your Destiny expansions, and subscribing will guarantee that you always see it. I would also like to note that the Destiny 2 Legacy Collection bundle does not appear on Bungie.net. It can only be found in the Bungie store and specific platform stores. So I'll throw those links down in the description for the Bungie store page and each platform specific store page for the Legacy Collection so you can easily find it. Finally for expansions, we have the Lightfall expansion, coming to Destiny 2 on February 28th, 2023. The standard edition of Lightfall, selling for 50 US dollars, will grant us access to the Lightfall campaign, the Neo Muna destination on Neptune, the new Strand subclasses for Hunter, Warlock, and Titan, 
access to Season 20 and the Lightfall 6 player raid. At 100 US dollars, you can get the Lightfall and Annual Pass bundle, which includes everything in the Standard Edition as well as access to Seasons 21, 22, and 23, two new three-player dungeons releasing in Seasons 21 and 23, and some pre-order items that you can use in-game today. So, now that you know what every expansion has to offer, which ones should you buy? Theoretically, if you bought everything available today in the most cost-effective manner, meaning you purchased the Legacy Collection, Witch Queen Deluxe, the 30th Anniversary Pack, and the Lightfall Plus Annual Pass Bundle, you would be spending $265 at base price or $193 with today's sale prices. If that is too much for you, you might be wondering what you should avoid. Well, there are four spots you can save some cash at. If you don't care about the stasis subclasses, old dungeons, old raids, and old campaigns, you can skip out on the Legacy Collection. Where this will really sting is not being able to acquire any of the exotic weapons from these three expansions. But if you don't care for a whole lot of variety in your exotic weapon arsenal, that's a sacrifice that you can make. This choice will save you $60 base or $24 with today's sales. Another option is to purchase the standard edition of Witch Queen instead of the deluxe edition, which will lose you access to any seasonal content. The campaign and raid are the big wins of this expansion, whereas the seasonal content is quite honestly nothing to write home about. Where this sacrifice will sting is the loss of the duality three-player dungeon, as well as the unreleased dungeon coming in Season 19. This choice will save you $40 base, or $30 with today's sales. Another option you have is to skip out entirely on the 30th Anniversary Pack. You wouldn't have access to the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, which isn't a huge deal since the community opinion of this dungeon isn't too high, but what you will be missing out on that will hurt is the Galahorn Rocket Launcher, which is a strong meta pick in a lot of activities. This choice will save you $25 base, or $15 with today's sales. The final place you can save is by purchasing the Beyond Light Expansion standalone instead of grabbing the full Legacy Pack. This is great if you want to access the Beyond Light campaign, the Beyond Light raid, and most notably, the Stasis subclasses. You will still lose out on all Forsaken and Shadowkeep exotic weapons, raids, dungeons, and campaigns, however. This choice will save you $30 base, or $9 with today's sales. Now, as a six-year veteran Destiny player, what do I recommend that you buy? Well, quite frankly, having access to all exotic weapons is a must in my personal opinion, so the Legacy Collection is something well worth considering picking up. The Witch Queen expansion also has its merits, with probably the greatest campaign Destiny has ever had and a must-have weapon crafting system. If you have the money, I would recommend getting the Deluxe Edition just to have access to the two dungeons, but if you're short, you'll get by just fine with the Standard Edition. The 30th Anniversary Pack is totally up to you. Do you want the Galahorn? Then get it. Do you not care about the Galahorn? Then don't get it. As for Lightfall, I guarantee that the Standard Edition is going to be a must-have. With the same campaign team that made the Witch Queen campaign heading this one up, we are sure to get another banger, along with a brand new subclass, a new raid, and a really crazy new destination. But the Bundle Edition with the Annual Pass is going to follow the same methodology as the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition. If you want access to those two new dungeons, definitely pick it up. But if you don't care much for them, I'm not entirely sure sold that the annual pass will be worth it for you. To be blunt, seasonal content has not been particularly enjoyable or intriguing in my personal opinion. The story of the seasonal content has always been compelling, but it is all conveyed through cutscenes that you can search up on YouTube. The gameplay of the seasonal content has lacked engagement in my opinion. So if that extra $50 is valuable to you, I would recommend just grabbing the standard edition of Lightfall. But if the stonks are up and life is good, then screw it, what's the worst that could happen, right? So what expansions are you going to get? Let me know in the comments down below. And regardless of what you buy, you have my sincerest welcome to the world of Destiny. If you want to learn more about the game, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I make tons of educational and informative Destiny videos that are sure to be of use to you. If you have any additional questions about anything Destiny related, you can drop them in the comments below 
below, ask them in my Discord server linked in the description, or come to my Twitch live stream and ask me right there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.